Hello, Earth Signs, and welcome to your reading. First, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from the Earth Magic deck. Dun -dun, one of my favorites, my first deck ever. Love it. All right, let's see what the main message is for this beautiful reading. God, what is the main message for the Earth Signs? Ooh, the new moon promise. For some of you guys, I'm hearing relationships. Okay, because as you see, there's a couple there. Um, not only that, I feel like there might be a new beginning going on as well. There might be some type of commitment outside of love and romance as well that you need to put some more attention to is what I just heard. Thank you God for that message. Now we are going to pull an animal spirit card for you guys. Woo! Crap. Thank you God for those messages. What animals? Well that's too many. Boo. Okay. What animal spirit do we have for the earth signs? Ooh. The Black Panther. Nice. And it says, the symbolism of the panther, magic, darkness, and death. Like other large cats, the panther represents ferocity and courage. The Black Panther is particularly mystical symbol that has represented dark energies and rebirth. Native American tribes of North, South, and Central America considered the Black Panther to wield powerful magic. Egyptian rituals involved the wearing of a panther tail about the waist or neck, which brought strength to its wearers. And the Cayans of Bor Borneo feared the soul of a black panther as much as the beast corporal form okay after killing a panther a cane hunter would step eight times over the dead animal reciting the spell panther thy soul under my soul okay interesting so what i'm getting here this could be like a death and rebirth kind of situation that's happening in your life for some of you, there is new beginnings. For others of you, it's like you're really ending a dark cycle in your life. That's what I'm really getting. As far as the death is concerned, that could be like a rebirth type of energy as well. Okay? So let's see. And also, I definitely get strength. Thank you. I keep hearing strength, 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 strength and courage for you guys as well. All right, God, what other messages do you have for the earth signs? All right, so that's two. What last two do you have for them? Thank you. So one more. Okay. <laughs> Alright, one more card. Thank you, God. Alright. So, we have four chakra cards for you guys. Out of my chakra deck. Okay. So, the first one. The seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. It says, spiritual awareness. When my mind sways negatively, I remind myself of love, truth, gratitude, and spirit. I am the observer of my thoughts, and I do not let them bring me down. I remind myself to have gratitude and acceptance for what is, and to have the courage of my convictions. There's that courage again. I continually pursue a clearer understanding of spiritual truths behind all that is and all that is unfolding. I ask myself, is what I am thinking the truth? And is it having a positive or negative impact on my life? Ooh. So for some of you guys, it's that negative energy that you're needing to let go of. You're needing to be mindful of that. Not only that, but be aware of these effects that it has on you, not only spiritually, but physically for some of you guys, okay? This is the next card we have out. The fifth chakra, the throat chakra. And it says truthfulness so again that's another that's another thing that pops up here too it's like if you're being honest it, and is it positive you know what i mean okay so let's see what it says and i'm hearing the word uplifting okay for some of you guys maybe you're putting yourself down with the words or the thoughts that you have going through your mind all right now let's see what it says truthfulness i am truthful and honest with myself i aim to overcome any fears about speaking my truth and i speak in a loving considerate way my personal empowerment comes from telling the truth and letting others know who i am yes others will be positive positively uplifted that's crazy i literally just said uplifted wow when they hear my truth and i take 
not to exaggerate in order to impress them. Yes, like I care not to, okay? I am careful not to let my mind mislead me and in turn others. I avoid gossiping or speaking negatively of others. Yes, and that's a great practice to have as well. Yes, speak your truth, but also your truth doesn't have to be um, so focused on negativity in a way that you're bringing down other people or your own self, okay? So keep that in mind as we move forward. Then we have the sixth chakra, the third eye chakra. It says mindfulness. Wow, and that's crazy because I said mindful too, and I didn't even see this card. That's crazy. Okay, so it says, I am aware of my thoughts, and I ask myself, are they uplifting? Oh my gosh, again, are they uplifting? Wow, that's crazy. And are they true? That goes perfect with this card. Wow. I do this because I know that my thoughts significantly affect my mental, emotional, and physical health. We spoke a little bit on that too, that's crazy. And because I know that my body believes everything that I believe, I am not in control of all situations that come my way, nor am, am I in control of what others do or say. However, I do have free will as to how I respond. I choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting. Beautiful. This last card, it says, the seventh chakra. Da, 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 the crown chakra grace mm, beautiful the grace of a higher power is with me yes lord lord is with us amen i move through life knowing this mm. i believe in a higher power yes amen and i know that it is within and around me offering assistance and guidance. I surrender all my fears and burdens to a higher power. I am open to receive grace and I trust in a higher power. I am worthy. Yes, you are worthy. God does love you. God is your guide. As long as you remember that and that is part of your truth and part of your power as well. Amen. Thank you God for that amazing message. I love all these cards. It's so beautiful. All right, one last beautiful message for you guys before we close this out. One last card. And this is coming from this positive message deck that I just, I love. It's one of my favorite decks. I love to wrap up the readings with these because it just brings such a beautiful positive message at the end, okay? Ooh, and I better hurry up because I don't want to get... I don't got much time, but I gotta get out of here. <laughs> wow, I love this. And this goes perfect with that last card. Yes. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Have a great day.